Tommy and I got in last night from Paris. He lost his match, so we came right back. He's very excited for clay season to be over, and now it is grass season, which is really exciting. He much prefers hard courts and grass. Most of you guys probably don't know this, but their season is on three different surfaces, hard courts, clay, and grass. And some people specialize on clay, some people are better on hard courts. So last night got in, we went right to the barn, then we ordered tacos, went to bed really early at like 9 p.m. And then we woke up pretty early here, had breakfast. Now we're gonna head to the gym and then we're gonna go fishing and then we're probably gonna go to the barn today and then we're gonna cook. But yeah, I'm gonna start vlogging. I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be. I know that you guys really liked the whole week vlog. So maybe I'll try to do like five days. Luckily, Tommy's gonna be here for like a week, which never happens. Because of his job, he just like can't spend that much time here. But yeah, we're gonna head to the gym now. I'm gonna do a yoga class and yeah. So we are going to meet my siblings and my neighbor from growing up. We're gonna go fishing in my hometown, which is like, my house is like 45 minutes, my parents' house, but we're going to a lake in Guilford, which is like an hour. We just stopped and grabbed sandwiches and we're gonna head there and fish. Tommy's very excited. <laughs>
were you the last person to use the grill? Yeah. That shit is so fucking crusty. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna make a big salad, some vegetables on the grill, and then the chicken that I marinated yesterday. Sounds pretty bomb. Mm. Okay. Tell us what you're doing. Brad told me this. Brad Stein? Yeah, my coach. Said that to clean the grill, you should use an onion. I feel like it would add a lot of flavor to the grill. Wait, that smells so good. You smell that? Yeah. It's yeah. really hot. <laughs> so here are the zucchini and squash that I'm gonna grill. And then here's the chicken. And I'm gonna make the salad inside. Got this gorgeous tomato at the local market. Some bib lettuce. This is my favorite brand, Bowery. Say hi. Oh my god, let's read you that one. <laughs> I just put on drunk elephant drops, so it's not really fair. Oh, you put on the sunglasses. Um, good morning. <laughs> Take two. We need one of those cut things. <laughs> it is Monday. Uh, I feel like I haven't seen you in a month, but it's been like a week. That has felt like a really, really, long, really time, long time, like years. Time. So Olivia and I are back in the office. We have a lot to do. And I always say that, but I no, feel like- this is probably the longest morning she's about to have. Yeah. Get ready. Eat your yeah. oatmeal. Eat your oatmeal, bitch. Yeah, I always say it, and then like things just get busier and busier, which isn't a bad problem. But since I was away and I didn't see Liv and Memorial Day weekend, I feel like there's just a lot going on. We have like seven completely different projects going on, like at once. 18. <laughs> I listed it out yesterday. 18, 18 products. <laughs> all for Dairy Boy. Seven probably like right now. Happening right. right now, but 18 up until, and until like August fall. 1st. Yeah. I've like prided myself in not gatekeeping projects with my life and my brand because I kind of hate when influencers do that. They're like, oh, like 
can't tell you guys like secret launch, but now I like actually can't. No, now you can't. And I'm like, oh. I already told her though. She started production today. Oh, she did? Yeah. Full, like a full production run? Yeah, like she like finally, like she needed all the pieces. I'm sure like if we need to change one part because I think they're just doing the wash and not sewing. And we're switching the to the horseshoe with the- Outline. Outline, cool. Outline. I rode oh, in the geez. other denim sample. Uh-huh. And they were so good. Okay. Yesterday I rode in them. We were good to go what the next steps are. We need to do the size breakdown today, which is probably gonna be really difficult considering this is the new gradient. Flare. Well, it's not gonna be extra small through. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a true denim size. Right. I have no idea. So first on the list today, well, Olivia and I are reviewing denim right now, but we have a big agenda list. Another team member of ours is in Texas, um, but we have calls with her like two to three times a day, but we have a big meeting and a big agenda that she made to go through. So we're going to review that and review the denim. And do we have a partnerships like for my, my, my Instagram meeting? Okay. No, but I'm sure that will go in the beginning or the end. Okay. Just to touch on the three that are due this week. Why don't, oh, I was thinking of this yesterday when I tripod it. Okay, so I bought another pair of my favorite heels. They are literally the greatest heels of all time. A little bit more on the expensive side, but the older I get, the more I am definitely investing in quality or quantity. And I bought these shoes in white during the Indian Wells tennis tournament because I needed a shoe that I could walk around the site and just be like comfortable. But I bought them in black. They're, like not too high, have a really good platform and they're just so cute. But three showed up. I don't know what happened with that. Oh, those are pretty. Those are really pretty. Okay, like not me about to keep both of them. Okay, this is my closet situation right now. This is Tommy's stuff. It's not in horrible shape, but I'm gonna do a little bit of organizing. The first day I got back, I was feeling very motivated and I did a lot of laundry and organizing and then now I just haven't put away the laundry and haven't finished organizing. So I'm gonna do that while I wait for our meeting at 11.30. This is one of my favorite jackets that I've ever bought. It's so good. After living in New York for like five years and just always in apartments or Airbnbs, when I moved into this house, I was like, I'm gonna have so much room. I have this whole house to myself. I have a whole bedroom that is a closet and I donate and get rid of so much stuff constantly and I still just have so much stuff. Also guys, I kind of hate to do this. Not that it's bad to give book recommendations. I feel like influencers, some influencers, are in this constant state of like trying to prove to people that they have substance and are intellectual. And something that I've worked on in the past like two years is not trying to like prove myself to anyone. Anyways, these are actually two books I picked up recently that are really great. The Tipping Point, How Little Things Can Make a Big Difference. And then this mindful journal little reflection book. These are really fun for flights. Also, obviously, a lot of us aren't writing with pens anymore, but I think it's actually a really good exercise. I think it's really healthy and important to still exercise writing. I think it's good for your brain. I wish that I didn't go through high school and college only writing on my laptop. I feel like I retained a lot less information. So these sort of reflection writing Books are really great. Okay, I'm going to try to put myself together a little bit. I'm trying to decide if I should make a TikTok showing you guys how I do my hair or YouTube. Thank YouTube, because fuck TikTok. So I have about 15 minutes until the meeting. So I'm gonna try to do my hair and get ready for the day. So I blow dried my hair yesterday and this is what it looks like today. It's really not that bad by any means, but I'm gonna show you guys how I have been styling my hair. So today I think I'm gonna do a headband. The headband's gonna go on first. And I get asked all the time where I get these headbands. And I thought that everyone knew that you could get these at 
CVS. But yeah, CVS. Okay, headband is on. This is my newest hair tool. Um, I got it a few months ago and it's actually like going viral on TikTok now. So some of you guys might already have this. Um, my friend Bridget, who you guys probably know, Acquired Style, a very good friend of mine, made a video with this and I feel like she made it go viral. So love that. My hair is growing. I also am seeing a new woman in Connecticut that does my hair. I just did not want to be driving into New York every time I needed to get my hair done. And I found this woman in Greenwich that is the most talented colorist that I've ever been to. And I've been to a lot of good people. I still love my New York hair guy and I still recommend him to people who live in New York. But this woman is next level. I love her. She is incredible. Anyways, she's been doing my highlights. We added some dimension into my hair because I was like I'm getting a little over the like white blonde thing not only is my hair like fuck you um but i just like like more of like a natural or like more dimensional blonde i'm still very very blonde I'm trying to like transition my hair into like more of a lived in look so that's that anyways um my hair has been feeling so healthy and my hair also grows really fast um, so I did have some like breakage like five months ago from someone who did my hair that does not normally do my hair, which happens to me like every year. Um, my hair grows out and gets really healthy and then someone fries it off um, because I travel so much and I was like living in so many different places that I was just like seeing so many different people for my hair. So that's what happens. Like too many cooks in the kitchen is a real thing. But I've been going to this woman consistently now for like for months now and my hair is growing it's healthy also i did an ad for neutrophil and this is not sponsored like this part of the video is not sponsored but i really 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 feel like neutrophil has been making my hair grow like a fucking weed and i got my highlights done like a few weeks ago and my hairdresser was like what are you taking like for your hair because your hair is growing at an insane rate she was like your hair is growing so fucking fast and i was like neutrophil have you heard of it and she was like yes we sell it in the salon so they literally sell neutrophil in the salon then i get my hair done out and it's like one of the nicest salons in greenwich connecticut which is like a very very nice part of connecticut anyways she also taught me about this brush what's the brand abiza made in spain but she was using this to blow dry my hair and i was like what is that and then i got it on amazon so i'll link it for you guys so first i'm just going to smooth out my hair with my ghd blow dryer i'm going to smooth out the top a little bit and then i'm going to go in with that round heated brush So for this next step, you really need clips like this. I have one pack already opened. I got these at Ulta. So I just take a piece like this and I actually put it in the round brush like before I turn it on. And then I turn it on. And then while it is hot, I will just put it in a pin like that. This makes such a difference when you let it cool in that little ring. It looks so good. Like that. I actually learned this technique from a blow dry that I got while I was in Italy. I get my hair blow dried like this in the States and I asked for the bend at the end of my hair and they always just blow dry it with a bend and then it comes out in like three hours. So when the woman in Italy did it like this, it stayed for like a day and a half-ish. Okay, I'm gonna let these completely cool. I'm gonna go with my meeting, come back probably put on a little more makeup and then get changed for the day. A couple times a week, we can just hop on and go through like every single detail of everything and like be right. Yeah, um, reach out to Nikki and she said she could have that tonight for us. Okay, we're taking a quick break from our meeting and I'm gonna take out my hair and put on some real people clothes. So I just take them out and, and then brush. See how like bouncy? That is here. So here is the hair all taken out. 
I just feel like it adds so much more volume. I'm just gonna add like a little bit of foundation in certain spots. I have to film some ads today. I'm just gonna put on these black Lululemon leggings. So I said I was changing into like real people clothes, but that was kind of a lie. Babe, I'm using a sandwich as a tripod. Hey, Hello. Liv. How are you? Good. It's been forever. It has been. I don't know if you guys have been seeing it. I haven't been seeing it, but apparently it's like big news. <coughs> About a girl who went to Turks and Caicos and got her foot bitten off by a shark from Connecticut. What? What? Okay, just changed to go to the bar. Tommy and I have been running errands. It was like forever. It's been like three hours, maybe. I actually just bought a side-by-side -side for the farm. I'll show you guys. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, try, we'll try not to fuck it up. We'll let you know what's going on. I mean, you guys are having eight Okay, cooking dinner. We're gonna do steak, salad, potatoes, and mushrooms. So the grill caught on fire, but the steak turned out insane looking. That's good. I have not been vlogging the past two days and I feel like a lot has happened in the past two days I feel like whenever I stop vlogging more stuff happens then I feel guilty for not showing you guys but today is Friday Tommy is leaving to go back to Europe he has a tournament in Stuttgart so he's leaving I'm not gonna be going to that tournament with him so things that you guys missed while I wasn't vlogging. I cleaned out the greenhouse with my brother, my greenhouse, which I can show you guys. Tomatoes were planted in my garden, which I'm also gonna show you guys. And then I had this kitchen island. I'll insert a better clip of it right here, but 
my kitchen island was delivered. It is so, so cute. I feel like it'll be easier for me to film cooking stuff with the island in the middle and just like I wanted a different prep area. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just like finish the vlog today and I'm gonna go run some errands after Tommy leaves. Baloo is here. Hi, Baloo. Hi, sweet boy. My new horse, Navy, got his shoes done today, this morning, and I wasn't able to go, but I got a bunch of pictures and videos from Aaron. So I was gonna go to the barn today, and then it rained an hour ago. And then I was like, oh, I'm not gonna go to the barn because it's raining, and now it's not raining, so we'll see. Also, I just got this big package from Sugarfina, my favorite, favorite candy brand. Tommy and I buy a lot of their candy, but they oh, yeah. sent they sent a massive package. It is actually the greatest candy of all time. Um, from the packaging to the shapes of the candy, to the flavor, to the consistency and chewiness, just all around amazing candy. This showed up in perfect timing because Tommy's gonna take a lot of it for his flight. So I'm gonna make Tommy like a little lunch box thing. And I'll be right back. So these are Tommy and Mai's favorite by Sugarfina. The the Sugar Lips Strawberry, Cherry, and Watermelon. If you know, you know. They're insane. Oh. Did you miss me today? Oh. Do you want me to cut off the crust or leave it on? Leave it on. You're so low maintenance. Can I pack you any other snacks? Okay. Okay, this is all packed for Tommy for the plane, and then I'm just making him a grilled cheese with turkey. Do you want anything on the side, babe? Do you want like a salad or anything on the side? Okay, the turkey sandwich is for now, right? Yeah. Oh, you're asking for now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got time, 20 minutes, yeah. No, like I don't have any veggies. Oh. Is this for me? Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm gonna That's make- That's a girl who knows how to set you off right. <laughs> okay, Tommy's lunch. Tommy just left. I'm so sad. Hi guys, pulled myself back together. Honestly, I feel like it's really good to cry. At least once a month, I feel less tense and less stressed. Like I needed a good cry. Also guys, I don't even know if during this vlog I like really, I feel like I, I did say something about my new Instagram, but I wasn't like, I didn't really talk about it. But guys, I'm like, I'm almost at 7K on my Dairy Boy Kitchen. Instagram. It's like my new little baby. It's like my new pride and joy. I just love cooking and sharing my recipes with you guys. So thank you to anyone who followed that account and is and is liking it. There's a lot to come with Dairy Boy Kitchen, so stay tuned. I'm hungry. Okay, let's go. Okay, entering my heaven. Like, hello. No, like, guys, come on. Like, oh, it just wait until we get over here. Like, this store is a joke. If my Dairy Boy stuff isn't in this store and my candles in a year, I'm gonna be really upset. Yeah, I think we'll go up to Hongo's. Yeah, take the way that I literally need these and these. Wow. These dishes are also really, really cute. These would look really cute in my new anthro thing. I just like don't know what I would put in it, so I might wait. Another thing I feel like I need, but I just don't know what I'm gonna put in it. It's like very small. These are actually the ones that I have in my living room. These coasters, they're like neon. They, it's not showing up on camera, but they're like very bright. Okay, I just went to train, just left. I only got, proud of me, I only got. <laughs> A basil plant. That's 
probably gonna die while I'm away. And then I got a cookbook that was like a pasta making cookbook, which I, I actually wanted to get a cookbook while I was there. One of the reasons why I went because my new kitchen island has like a section in it that I wanna have for like only cookbooks and stuff. Also, I've like tentatively started the process of making my own cookbook. It's gonna be like a long process to like just follow the Instagram for now. But eventually like a coffee book style cookbook. I feel like cookbooks have gone out of style a little bit, but like having something that's like a pretty piece that people can reference or just like have that on their counter. So it'll be cool to like buy some cookbooks so I can kind of see what I like and how people are doing them. I am starving. Um, I am think I'm gonna go get Mexican food tonight with my good friend Laura. Okay, whenever I drive, my camera just goes catapulting towards me and I have a little tripod. There's no reason it Anyways, gonna go to Brandy Melville because I haven't been to Brandy in a very long time. And then I wanted to go to anthropology. Yeah. Oh wait, guys. I've been testing out new scents for our new candles dropping. Oh my gosh, guys. It's so good. Like being able to make my perfect scent is amazing. I'm so grateful. I'm just like so happy that I get to do that. But I had the woman who hand makes our candles and hand crafts the scents. I had her make like a ton and then I kind of wanted to just like smell and pick and see which one resonated with me the most based off what I gave her and the notes that I gave her that I wanted and like the vibe and the smell. And she did like a ton, over 10. And I didn't know like what each one was. I just had like numbers on them and I smelled them. And then I picked my few that I like instantly thought of like a word or a place or a time and like wrote that on top of the sample. I have like a boyfriend one right now, a tennis one, and a summer like cottage beachy coastline one. I wanna have a ton of candles on my site, to be honest, guys. Like, I wanna do that, but the next one's gonna be like a summery one, like a beachy one, probably. And then the tennis one um, for our pop up and for like the US Open. So, you're probably wondering, like, what does tennis smell like? Um, like, I got a uh, candle as a player's gift at Roland Garros. It was like a Roland Garros, like a Roland Garros candle and it apparently like smells like clay, but that is not what I'm doing for my tennis candle. The candle that I'm gonna be calling like tennis and it's gonna be like a tennis collection candle um, with tennis graphics on it. It reminds me of like sports, like a fresh like sport sort of smell. And like, I don't know how to explain that to you guys. On my call with my team today, we had like a big meeting today and I can't say much about this, but like in the meeting we were talking about how our candles are gonna be potentially in like a major huge like store if we decide to do it it's gonna be like a very very cool milestone for our brand thing and the call was like hard for people to buy candles online unless like you really know your own sense I need to like learn how to describe to you guys these scents better because I know a lot of you guys will be ordering them online and not seeing them in person hopefully eventually we can have like all of the candles in stores you can go and smell them but yeah anyways I'm at Brandy Melville um so I'm gonna go run into Brandy and then I'm gonna run to Anthropology. So when I do these vlogs, I don't normally bring you guys in with me to the stores. I don't know if it's like because I don't like vlogging in public or I don't think you guys will care, but we're doing it today. You're coming with me? So this is like the little town of Westport, which is not the town that I live in, but it's like, it's really. And this is the Anthropology store. It's like by far the most gorgeous building on the street. They really secured the bag with this spot. It's insane. It's like massive. And yes, I'm wearing old Dairy Girl summer sweats. Because they're the best. The way that it just smelled like fried fucking fish outside and has me fucked up. Oh my god, that smells so good. Whenever I come in here, I eye this couch. I feel like this would be the coolest closet room couch. My closet room is not have enough space for it, but like in my next house need okay i'm going to very respectfully rebuke the fact that cheetah is coming back in style no thank you these are actually the chairs that i have in my kitchen in blue okay they did not have a big salad bowl which is okay i'm probably going to go to the stratford antique center which is like a big antique warehouse haven't been there recently 
either. I'm probably gonna go there and look for like a Pyrex one. Cause I do really love a vintage bowl. Oh wait, maybe I'll go to the florist. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get flowers. There actually are peonies growing at my barn. They're like the most gorgeous peonies. But I don't know whose they are. Like I don't know who planted them and I don't wanna like steal someone's peonies. But like I could use a few of them. Hey guys, look what Tommy changed my little car to. I didn't even know you could do this. And he, it's like a little truck. <laughs> it's so silly. Okay, I'm actually driving right now to go to Best Buy. A little last minute stop. I was not planning on going to Best Buy today. Um, I was actually going to go to the camera store in Milford tomorrow, but I'm gonna check out Best Buy before I drive all the way to Milford, which is like 40 minutes away from me. But I wanna get a bigger body camera, like a kind of like heavy duty camera. I do have a Sony camera that I bought for exactly the reason why I'm buying a new camera right now, but I don't love the Sony as much. I grew up using Canon cameras. I was really into photography and video all throughout high school and I had a Canon 80D. Um, and I really liked that camera. Um, but I wanna get a bigger, more serious camera to do, to do my own photo shoots and stuff. Um, like, for my brand and then also I want to be shooting b-roll on that camera so just like elevating the production of my videos and certain style videos like I'm going to be using the better camera like maybe for cooking videos I'll use the bigger camera this camera that I'm using right now it's like a little vlogging camera and she is wonderful and great and I've been using her for years but I do want like a more high quality sort of vibe for parts of my video and for like, and for other stuff. So let me go check it out and see if they have any Canon cameras. Just like a sand. If anyone was wondering, Trader Joe's has peonies. <laughs> okay guys, here are the peonies. And then we have the new basil plant that was sitting in the car and it's looking a little bit sad right now, but I'm hoping it comes back to life now that it'll get some sun and some air. I was gonna be done with my vlog, but we're restarting. <laughs> I'm gonna continue the vlog just for this little segment. For Pizza Night, the girls and the gays. Pride Month. <laughs> right. Pride Month pizza. Wait.